my beautiful sexy Capricorns. Hello, how are you guys? Welcome to Miss Hawaii Tarot. If you celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving yesterday. It's so good to see you guys. Shout out to all the Capricorn members. If you're not a member yet, click that join button, please. Um, please check out the description box below. It's a lot of information there in the description box as far as how to book a personal reading with me and all of my social media information. And there's also a link to the extended reading for this read, okay? So check that out. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, please. That is your way of showing gratitude for us YouTubers and all the hard work that we do. And don't forget, click that little bell button below. That will alert you every time I go live or anytime there is a new um, Capricorn read, okay? So let's see what's going on, Spirit. Please show me. Let's just do an overall general love reading for Capricorn, please. Show me what's going on with Capricorn in love. Okay. Let's see. First card is always the strongest. The Hierophant. Wow. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. Okay. Um, That card represents, to me, spirituality. So a lot of you guys are like very into your spirituality right now you could be definitely um getting personal readings watching a lot of tower readings or just you know spiritually connecting a lot with your ancestors you know what i mean with your spirit guides eight of swords okay that's like a stuck energy there could be something on your mind right now um could be as far as your soulmate um could be other things as well for a lot of you capricorns but i feel like this situation has you stuck Four of Wands. Wow, you got two big commitment cards there um, with the Hierophant. Because the Hierophant can also mean like marriage, commitment, a spiritual connection. The Fool in reverse. Okay, Aries energy. Okay. Some of you could be connecting with a Taurus or an Aries. Seven of Swords in reverse here. Okay, which just popped out here. The Queen of Swords in reverse. Oh, boy. The Ten of Cups in reverse. What else we got for my Capricorns? The nine of, oh my goodness, gracious, Jesus. Wow, Capricorn, y'all needed this reading, huh? Y'all needed this reading. The nine of pentacles in reverse. Somebody's coming off really guarded. And the Emperor, overall energy is the Four of Swords in reverse. Okay. So some of you are dealing with the Aries. There's heavy Aries energy here in this read. Um, something isn't going as well as you expected right now. The Ten of Cups is in reverse. So I feel like, um, you know, this is the Wish Fulfillment card. I feel like whatever's going on right now with your soulmate is not really what you want. It's not going really how you want it to. Somebody is the queen of swords in reverse. Now, this could be you. Okay, or this could be your soulmate. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Somebody's coming off very guarded. Um, seven of swords in reverse is the center of your spread. The fool in reverse, the emperor. I feel like for some of you guys... I see commitment for you. I see commitment. I see marriage for a lot of you guys. I see soul ties. But I'm also seeing a resistant energy or somebody kind of holding back. The fool is in reverse. The fool usually represents a new beginning, taking a leap of faith. I'm sure a lot of you know that. Um, we're going to clarify some of these, though, really to get into the nitty gritty and see what's going on here. I do see a lot of you trying to stay in control here with the emperor card. Um currently of your love life some of you just period some of you are like actually like bosses ceos you know what i mean you're doing big things with your company but there is a instability here so let me see the hierophant card please why is the hierophant card here the king of wands in reverse Oof. so some of y'all with your ten of cups here so some of you are dealing with a fire sign um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So I'm getting strongly here. I'm seeing a Capricorn. Like I said, that wants commitment. 
that wants marriage, that wants to take this connection to the next level. Meanwhile, your person is pulling the King of Wands in reverse, which is not a commitment energy, not a committed energy. Okay, that's not somebody that wants to be in something long term right now. It could be somebody that's actually a womanizer, manonizer, or just somebody who has a fear of commitment with the King of Wands in reverse. Ten of Cups is here on the bottom. Okay, a lot of you could actually see this person being your Ten of Cups, your wish fulfillment. But there's a problem here. The Seven of Wands, it could be your person is very guarded, as I mentioned earlier. For some of you, your person is very guarded when it comes to love, when it comes to dating, when it comes to something serious. Your person's coming up with this guarded type energy. All right. Let's see the Eight of Swords or defensive. Okay. Show me the Eight of Swords, please. Why is the Eight of Swords here? The Eight of Wands in reverse with the world. Okay. Shit is not going how you want it to go right now. It's not flowing. It's not flowing smoothly. Some of y'all is very stagnant. Um, there could be no movement. There could be some communication issues between you and this person. Um, okay. And it's just got you in this stuck energy. The star Aquarian energy. Some of you, it's your, an Aquarius that you're dealing with. You may have Aquarius in your chart. But I'm seeing like you want this with the star card. It's like you want this though. And I see it's really like on your mind a lot. Like you're really thinking about this a lot, Cap. Let me see the Four of Wands. Some of y'all got a new place or some shit like that, or just moved into a new home. Show me the Four of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the Nine of Wands. Oof. There's a problem here. Something, this whole situation has got you. Because the Queen of Pentacles in reverse can be like an ungrounded energy. It's affecting you right now. Some of y'all, it's actually, you're letting it affect your work. Like you're letting it affect your six of wands in reverse. Yeah, because this shit ain't, it ain't going. Like some of y'all feel like this person is not giving you the attention that you deserve. They're not treating you how you want to be treated. Some of you are feeling overlooked. Some of you just feeling like you're failing in this connection. Six of wands in reverse. Something is wrong here. Show me the queen of pentacles in reverse. The King of Cups. You love this person a lot with the Two of Cups. You love this person. Love uh, this person. Some of y'all dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You love this person to the point that it's affecting your well-being, some of y'all. And when I say your well-being, I don't mean like you're literally sick. I mean like actually like, you know how on top of shit Capricorns are. So I feel like some of y'all, you missing deadlines and shit or you forgetting to pay certain bills or you fucking... You know what I mean? Like usually your energy is so like, like uh, focused, laser beam focused, possibly with your career or your home for some of you, like taking care of your home, your kids, not in a crazy way, but you know how sometimes, I mean, when you love somebody and this shit ain't going the way you want it to go and you really care, it's going to affect you. It's going to affect you. You know what I mean? And y'all are earth signs. So I know this is affecting you. You know what I mean? Because y'all usually can take things pretty well. Show me the fool in reverse. Unlike us waters. <laughs> the five of pentacles in reverse and the two of swords in reverse. You feel like your person is treating you a certain kind of way. They're keeping you at bay. Making you feel kind of like abandoned. Like you're alone in this. Some of you actually feel like fools. Like this person is treating you like a fool. The hermit is in reverse. Or you feel like a fool because you still have so many feelings for this person and you don't feel like you're getting it back in return. The hermit in reverse can mean like somebody that's withdrawn. Some of you guys are dealing with a Virgo. Your person seems kind of like real careless. The fool in reverse can be somebody that's kind of like too careless, kind of out there. You know what I mean? Living life could be somebody that's immature with the fool upright. Your person got more of like a free energy. And a lot of y'all don't like that shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's like, hello, I'm here. Like, you got all this in front of you. And you... show me the seven of swords in reverse, please. Why is the seven of swords in reverse? That can mean self-deceit. The queen of pentacles in reverse. There you go again with the knight of swords in reverse. I feel like some of y'all, you can't even see clearly. I'm going to be honest with you. You can't because you care about this person so much. To the point that some of y'all are actually neglecting yourselves. Because you care about this person so much. They mean so much to you. Ace of Wands in reverse. And the Knight of Cups. You see what I'm saying? You all in your feelings. You all in your feelings, baby. 
you all in your feelings. And meanwhile, your person over here acting all stupid. Knight of Swords energy. That could be a page of cups in reverse. Your person real immature. They coming up like they real immature. Some of y'all, they, they got a little bit of an attitude problem. And I'm seeing you all in your feelings here. For some of y'all, this person could kind of, this is not for every single Capricorn, but for some of you, this could be more of like a sexual based thing. Like this person is kind of more like into sex, you know what I mean? And meanwhile, here you are with Hierophant, Four of Wands, you trying to have some serious shit. Give me the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, please. Okay, Knight of Wands in reverse and the Page of Swords in reverse. Ooh. Some of y'all, this shit got you mad. Six of Cups. Somebody here. Let me see the Ace of Wands in reverse. The Star in reverse popped out. Show me the Ace of Wands in reverse. The Lovers in reverse. You feel like, wow, with the Seven of Pentacles, reevaluation. Could be a Gemini you're dealing with. Wow, you feel like you and this person are not on the same page. Give me the Knight of Cups. The King of Swords. That's your person. Some of y'all dealing with an air sign. You got heavy air energy here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, your person coming off kind of cold. Let me see the Queen of Swords in reverse. Oh, the Ten of Swords in reverse came out. Some of y'all, your person is like that because they went through something painful in the past. Give me the Queen of Swords in reverse. I don't think that's you. The King of Swords. That's your person again. With the Six of Swords in reverse. It's like your person is afraid here to... To let shit flow between you and them. They're very guarded. They, For some of you, I'm getting for a specific Capricorn. They were married to somebody that was toxic. Or they came out of a toxic situation. You know what I mean? So this is why your person is coming off very guarded. The hermit. There they go again. Virgo energy. Your person kind of like, kind of gets distant. I'm getting. They get cold with the king of swords. Some of y'all, this person is kind of bitter towards love. Let me see the ten of cups in reverse. Let me get the Ten of Cups in reverse, please. Eight of Pentacles. This is something you want. Bad. You don't see anything else. Two of Swords in reverse. It's like you're not even trying to make no decision. You already know what you want. But why is your person coming up as the King of Pentacles in reverse? Meanwhile, you feel like you're putting in all this effort, all this work. Like you're trying here. You're trying here. But there's a problem here. Something is stopping you happily ever after. And I don't think that is you. Let me see the nine of pentacles in reverse. The emperor in reverse. Mm, with the knight of cups. Mm. Fool in reverse. That's your person again. Very guarded here. Your person is stubborn. Aries energy. Your person is stubborn. It's their way or the highway. But they also very immature. The fool in reverse with the emperor in reverse. That's immature energy. Some of y'all, your person needs to like, they're not really as financially stable as you or they're not really as financially independent as you. They need to fucking, they need to develop a plan for the future I'm getting. Like, I feel like your person is real careless when it comes to the future. And then you pull an emperor energy, like, whoa, you know what I mean? The emperor is the motherfucking future, you know? You seem like you real restless, Capricorn. Some of y'all not getting no sleep. Or this shit got you just on edge. Show me the emperor, please. The king of swords. That's your person. With the two of cups. You got a connection here, baby. Some of y'all trying to be the king of swords. You may be trying to put your emotions aside. To really think about this more logically. But you can't. Your feelings is all up in this. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Five of Pentacles in reverse. There you go again. You keep coming up as the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Cap. And this is your card. Like, but you keep coming up in reverse. That's why I said this shit got you kind of 
some of y'all restless or it's just throwing you off your A game right now. And it could be because I see you trying to gain control here. I see you trying to gain control here. Because this connection is, is strong. The Two of Cups has come out more than once. Let me see the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is you. The Ace of Swords in reverse with the Four of Swords. Damn, you confused and shit. You trying to think things through. I feel like your person be going silent. Some of y'all, there's no communication right now. Show me the King of Swords. It's crazy. Queen of Wands. Oh, with the Ace of Wands. I'm seeing passion between the two of y'all. For some of y'all, I feel like there's no problem with sex. Sex ain't the issue. The issue is your person giving you more than sex. <laughs> you know, the moon. You don't know where you stand right now. The Ace of Cups, but you got feelings for this person. <sighs> Two of Pentacles. The Empress in Reverse. Empress in Reverse because usually somebody who's like really trying to show somebody love, but the other person is not really trying to receive that shit. <sighs> for some of y'all, there's somebody else involved. I don't know what's going on here. You're very attracted to this person. There's a lot of fire between the two of y'all. But your person just sometimes goes so cold. They so guarded and protected here. How does Capricorn feel about this person? How does Capricorn feel about this person? Seven of Pentacles, reevaluation. Feeling like you've invested a lot in this person so far. Given a lot of energy so far. The world. Oh shit. You feel like it's gonna the cycle's gonna be closed out. Page of Swords in reverse. Mm. Four Cups. Wow. With the Page of Wands in reverse. Yeah, your person could either be an air sign, um, uh, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, or it could be a fire sign. The moon here again. From two different decks. Pisces, Cancer Energy. Two different decks, you got the moon. Like, either you don't know if this person's playing you or what. But I feel like you're very unhappy right now. I feel like there may not be no communication. There may be some spying going on. I don't know if that's you spying on them or they've been keeping an eye on you. Especially if there hasn't been any communication. But I feel like you feel like this shit is going to end. Like, you're not happy right now. Four cups. Like, this shit ain't. This shit is making you feel a certain type of way. Like, you feel like you're being either rejected or your person is not giving you attention. Like... They're not showing a lot, enough interest here or something. You feel like this shit is about to close out. Your person's coming up like they real immature. Some of y'all, this person is younger than you because you got two pages here. Four cups can sometimes mean like you're feeling rejected. Wow. Okay. What's on the bottom here? The tower in reverse. Oof. Scorpio energy. Yeah, you could be feeling like shit is going to end. Like, <laughs> the one more thing is about to come out. The straw that's going to break the camel's back is almost there. You know what I mean? If you ever heard that saying before. But, um, all right, Capricorn, let's go into the extended now. I'm going to do a full spread on your person now. I'm going to see how your person feels about you and what actions they're going to be taking moving forward towards you. And, um, yeah, I want to I know, like, what's going on with them. And we'll also pull some Oracle advice cards for you as well, as far as how you should proceed in love and what the universe feels like you should do in regards to the situation. All right. Thank you, Capricorns, for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Again, don't forget, check out the description box. There's information there as far as how to book a personal reading. You can email Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com. I offer expedited readings as well, where you can get the reading within 24 hours or by the next day. And definitely... Um, 
Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Miss Hawaii Tarot. There's a Facebook link below as well. And check out the description box below so you can subscribe to my other channel and become a member, please. Okay? Um, the extended reading link is below. I hope to see you guys there. If not, I'll see you guys next time. I love you. Thanks for your continuous support. Be strong. Be well. Love you. Bye.